I've been shot 11 times. I don't wish no one to be shot, but it's something that I would never get over. The wraparound program really changed my life, and they was there for me from day one, and I thank them so much. And I couldn't do it without them. Wraparound formed um, as a result of understanding really early on in my career that what I was doing as a trauma surgeon was not enough. I needed help. I needed the community that was impacted the most by violence to direct me to understanding what was necessary to be more comprehensive in, in creating care for patients and, and to really change people's life course. The number of people that were coming into the hospital were youth. We wrap our arms around our, our people who come through here. So we try to equip them with not only services, but just love and, you know, we really try to meet their needs. We help and support them with services after, um, as they're recovering or while they're here, if they need services, anywhere from housing, to um, basic needs, clothing, uh, employment. We link them to those services in hopes that, you know, we don't ever have to see them come back. My biggest wish and goal for the future of the Wraparound Project was, is that it wouldn't have to exist. That we wouldn't have any more violently injured people that my that our job as trauma surgeons um, would be defunct. To see them start walking again, to see them laughing and being happy, to feel like, you know what, this happened to me, but I'm going to make it, you know, and um, I think no amount of money can ever pay us for that. It's rewarding, you know, to be able to intercede and, and you know, um, interrupt what may possibly be a violent situation and change the trajectory of a child's life is awesome. You know, we want to give them tools to be productive members of society and to give them a chance to have a future. It gives me joy to be able to be a part of a young person's life and help them map out what their future looks like. You know, you can never get over trauma, but you can live a good, amazing life, you know, after it and learn how to manage it and stuff like that. So we help, you know, uh, do that with them. And to see them later and say, well, Mike, man, you know what? I'm a manager now and at, at, at this job, you know, that job you hooked me up with, you know, that's an impact, man. That's like a heartfelt, you know what? My work wasn't in vain, you know, that, uh, that work just is unmatched, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> They like family. They help, they check in on, call me, see how I'm doing, you know. And I'm very thankful. They have that good 
atmosphere where you don't have to be scared, you don't have to feel like you're all by yourself because they're there and they've been there. <laughs>